Cannondale synapse, don't spend too many racks Just to get a bike that will be a short term hype Those rim brakes are still pretty legit You just need to be able to spin that shit And then go on and produce those watts So you can smoke them cycling squats Look how smooth it's running It's uh, well, almost new condition Mint condition What is up guys? So, are uh, rim brakes really dead or not? Well, uh, from a market standpoint, you can definitely say that they are um, pretty much dead because, well, the indicator is that people will um, like liquidate their uh, rim brake road bikes for really stupidly uh, cheap prices, stupidly low prices. So we got this Cannondale Synapse high modules carbon from Cannondale. We got a Cannondale Synapse uh, online at an online auction here in uh, Switzerland for 650 Swiss francs. It's really cheap in my opinion, especially if you consider that it is the high modules carbon. Full carbon frame, pretty sweet. We have an Altegra um, group set throughout, except the cranks and the uh, chain set. Um, we have the full speed ahead, uh, 3450, so a compact crank set, 5 bolt design, pretty nice, um, the candles, like hologram crank, it's also pretty cool, never owned one of these one, but it seems nice. Also the BB30, we have a BB30, of course Cannondale uh, still stuck with the BB30 by this time, nowadays I don't even know if they uh, changed. I have to say, now the bike is really, you can you can really see it has multiple indicators. I measured the chain, now it's almost brand new. Also, you have here the rear tire that will wear out uh, first. It will always uh, wear out first. And you see those indicators at the Continental. You always have those indicators, two uh, indicator points. If you can't see them anymore, that means that uh, the tire is really worn out and you should really change it because they go in pretty deep, those indicators. Um, like I said, Ultegra uh, 6800 group set, I think. We have the long cage derailleur, which is pretty nice. So we can, uh, this is a 30, 32 set, I think. Um, also the shifters, per they work really, really great. Ultegra are really, uh, Super nice group set in my opinion. You have just, if you want to set it up nicely, you have no worries at all. And we got the Mavic Xerium Equipe S. Not the cheapest wheel, but certainly not, uh, certainly not a high-end wheel. Of course not. Just some stock uh, first mounting wheel set, but they roll pretty nicely and are not the heaviest. Now, for 600 bucks, like you can tell um, the lady who sold us this bike. Well, we communicated uh, with her through WhatsApp, uh, mainly, and you can you can, you can could see on her profile pic that she had already purchased a new bike with disc brakes, of course. See, just this uh, C-tube split that should um, enhance some damping. Sagan and his teammates used this for Paris Ube, mainly, the bike. And well, the, the lady, you can see she really didn't ride this bike much at all. Tires are in near new condition, the chain is pretty new. And look at the bottom bracket section, this is always pretty interesting. Check out the bottom bracket, uh, bo pot bracket section of your bike. No scratch at all, not even dirty, not even dirty, you see? Pretty clean, no scratches here. Also on the other end, uh, chain has never been dropped. So it is really is a near bike. And uh, I don't know what it retails for, retailed for. Probably uh, two to three thousand bucks back in the days. And we got it for 650 with a couple hundred kilometers. Now, I, you could say that she just warmed it up, the bike really. She put, she put all the bearings really nicely uh, in movement. So they uh, now roll pretty sweetly. <laughs> of course, brake pads, they wear out pretty low, uh, pretty, pretty slowly. So you can change them after 10K maybe if you clean them well. So um, you can get great deals now on the internet mainly, Facebook marketplace or any like bike related online selling platform. You will catch yourselves <laughs> really great deals. Even bikes with um, higher end specs than this one, you can get your hands on SRAM Red, Road bikes, Durice Di2, um, even Campanula Super Records. I saw some bikes 
for really great prices. If you have like a, a budget of 2K, you can get yourselves really a top end like Tour de France level bike from 2010 or later. Of course, there will be no disc brake. Disc brake is really indicated that it is now the latest spec, the latest uh, tech that you will get and people are just buying it. Of course, my opinion on disc brakes is, uh, I don't know if you have watched my videos, but I'm certainly not against disc brakes on road bikes, especially if we have high mountains, bad weather and hard winters. These bricks surely are really nice, but if it's uh, summer and it is dry, then those rim brakes just work amazingly nice. You have no worries. Thank you for checking out this video. See you in the next one.